Hey guys, this is Jamin with PC Monkey. We're bringing you another do-it-yourself laptop video today. We have an HP laptop here, and we're gonna show you how to deal with a boot loop issue. Uh, now the boot loop issue we're gonna describe and we're gonna deal with is after your initial splash screen, after that HP logo, if your computer keeps restarting itself, if it's stuck diagnosing PC, if it gets stuck loading, if you get a blue screen error, whatever's happening after that logo screen. Uh, that's what we're gonna talk about. Basically, you hit the logo, it moves on, but you can't access your desktop. Uh, now, if your computer is just freezing at or before the logo, check down bottom in the description. That'll be the freezing video link. Uh, also, if your computer is turning on, but the screen is staying black, that's also another video for another fix. That'll be in the black screen video link in the description. Uh, so check out the description for related video links. Also for frequently asked questions, we update it all the time. Uh, so you may be able to get answers to your questions by just looking there. If you can't, leave us a message. We try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, so this boot loop issue is usually caused by your system being damaged or corrupt. Malware, viruses, bad shutdowns, uh, sudden power losses, hard drive failure, update failure, whatever. Uh, that can corrupt your system. That's what's causing this. Uh, so a lot of videos only give one solution. We're going to give you a, a, a few things to try to get up and running. Uh, so we're going to give you the most common, not all of them, but just the most common solutions we found. So the first solution we're going to take you in is to diagnose your HP. HP is awesome. It comes with built-in diagnostic software. We're going to access that. So tap on your power button. Start hitting escape right away. Okay, so there's your startup menu. Let, let me zoom in here for you. So this is your startup menu. We're gonna go to System Diagnostics, F2. Yours may be different, uh, but navigate to your System Diagnostic. Uh, you'll see here you have a few different options. We'll look at the memory test and the hard drive check. Uh, check your hard drive, so go down and hit enter, check your hard drive. You can do a quick test, an extensive check, uh, whatever kind of check you want after this screen. That will test your hard drive. That'll test and see if your hard drive going bad it is the reason why you're in a boot loop. Uh, it'll either tell you that your hard drive is going bad, in which case you need to replace it, or it will tell you that it cannot read a hard drive. If it tells you it can't read a hard drive, it could be that your hard drive's loose. So try reseeding it. Go into your computer, uh, unplug it, plug it back in, make sure it's secure. Uh, there'll be a video link down below on how to access your hard drive in an HP computer. Uh, try that and then restart your test. If it's still saying it can't read it, then it means it's so bad that it just can't read it. So you would still need to uh, replace it at, at that point. If it says your hard drive is okay, if it passes the test and it's not your hard drive, uh, we're gonna show you what to do next. So escape, let's get out of here. Okay, so we're gonna shut the computer down. All right, so if your hard drive checked out, we're gonna move on to the next fix. Start your computer and start tapping on F10. We wanna get into our BIOS system. F10 for BIOS, usually in an HP. So now we're in, in our system here. We want to look at some, uh, yours may look a little different based on the newness of your computer, but it will have the, the same options. First thing you want to check is your date and time settings. Make sure your date's correct. Make sure your time is correct. Sometimes after a sudden power loss or other issues, uh, the date and time could be wrong, which doesn't sound severe, but it can screw up a lot of stuff with the workings of your computer. So make sure your date and time is correct. If it's not correct and you fix it, fix it, save and exit, and, and try booting up again. If your date and time is correct, uh, check out your boot sequence. So in my BIOS here, I'm gonna scroll with my arrow keys over to system config, and I'm gonna scroll down to boot options and hit enter. So this is where we wanna make sure that our boot options or our boot order is correct. Now the first thing you can check here, if you scroll down, you see legacy support, UEFI boot order. Sometimes UEFI is referred to as CSM. 
So if you don't see UFI, you could see it as CSM. Uh, but the first thing you want to check in here, try switching back and forth. Uh, we're currently on UEFI, legacy support is disabled. So try switching back and forth and enable legacy support. Go down it and enable it. Switch over to the other one and then try restarting. Uh, sometimes it, it's complicated, there's a lot of reasons why, but sometimes these get messed up and you need to be on one when you're on the other. So whichever one you are on, switch to the other. Uh, try restarting the computer. If it doesn't work, the, then just sw switch it back over to what it was before. So I'm not going to do that. Um, also, a thing to remember is uh, after you restart your system, if it doesn't work, you can just switch it back. Uh, but sometimes when you're switching from UEFI to legacy, um, you may need to put secure boot off. See, secure boot is enabled right now. Sometimes you need to change secure boot to disabled when you're switching from UEFI to legacy. It's not uh, very common, but it, it, it does happen. Uh, after these things, if these things still don't work and your computer is still in this sort of boot loop and your system is still corrupt to the point where it's not turning on, try a factory reset. There'll be a video in the description on how to factory reset your HP computer. If your operating system is not uh, really screwed up, that should work. If the operating system is very corrupt, then you probably just have to reinstall it fresh, which there'll be another video in the description on how to install an operating system. Uh, fresh onto an HP a computer. So hopefully we've taken you through a, a, a couple solutions. If those fail, we showed you how to fix it anyway with a reset or a fresh install. Hopefully we get you through. If you have any questions, if you got lost anywhere, or if you need help, or if you're not sure you're on the right video, leave us a message. We'll help you out. Uh, if, if this did help you, please like and share. Uh, if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer pair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.